Most people believe that age alone determines how long we live, but the truth is far more unsettling and empowering. The difference between living vibrantly into your 90s and passing away in your early 80s is often determined not by genetics, but by five silent self-inflicted habits that slowly dismantle the body's defenses. For decades, researchers have tracked the patterns of those who outlive their peers, and the evidence is clear. Longevity is not an accident. It is engineered daily through choices that either preserve or erode the systems keeping us alive. Today, we begin with the first two of these deadly habits. Forces that quietly drain your life force after 60, yet can be reversed with simple science-backed changes. Chronic inflammation is not the type you see when you twist an ankle or cut your skin. That's acute inflammation, short-term, healing, protective. The danger comes when inflammation becomes chronic, low-grade, and relentless. Imagine a slow-burning fire in the basement of your house. It doesn't destroy the building overnight, but day after day, it weakens the structure, warps the beams, and poisons the air in the human body. That structure is your heart, brain, joints, and blood vessels. Medical studies reveal that this silent inflammation is the common denominator in most of the diseases that shorten life after 60. Heart attacks, strokes, cancer, Alzheimer's, and type 2 diabetes. It corrodes the lining of arteries, feeds malignant cells, disrupts insulin signaling, and even accelerates the breakdown of neurons in the brain. And yet, most people never feel it happening. One of the greatest tragedies is that inflammation is often triggered not by rare or exotic threats, but by daily habits. An unbalanced diet, chronic stress, sedentary living, poor sleep, each of these sends a steady trickle of inflammatory molecules into the bloodstream, turning the immune system from a guardian into an aggressor. But here's the good news. Just as we can fan the flames, we can also put them out. The body has remarkable self-healing abilities when given the right inputs. Certain foods, for example, contain powerful anti-inflammatory compounds. Wild blueberries flood your system with anthocyanins that neutralize free radicals. Extra virgin olive oil delivers polyphenols that calm overactive immune cells. Green tea's catechins block inflammatory signaling pathways. And turmeric, when paired with black pepper to unlock its curcumin, works like a natural fire extinguisher inside your tissues. Beyond diet, even modest movement, a 20-minute walk after lunch, stretching in the morning, sun, deep breathing before bed, can lower inflammatory markers in the blood. The choice is daily and cumulative. You either build a body that quietly smolders toward disease or one that defends itself against a slow burn. Sleep is not a luxury. It is the single most underutilized medicine we have. And yet, many people over 60 treat it as optional, trimming hours off the night in the name of productivity or because of long ingrained habits. Uh, what they don't realize is that every skipped hour of deep sleep robs the body of essential repair time, and the bill for that debt often comes due in the form of rapid aging. During deep restorative sleep, your brain performs a cleansing ritual known as the glymphatic process flushing away toxins and metabolic debris that accumulate during waking hours. This is also the window when the pituitary gland releases pulses of growth hormone, critical for maintaining muscle mass, bone density, and tissue repair. Poor sleep disrupts these rhythms, leaving cells more vulnerable to damage and slowing down every repair mechanism in the body. The hormonal consequences are equally devastating. Chronic sleep deprivation raises cortisol, the stress hormone that accelerates fat storage, weakens immunity, and shrinks brain volume over time. It also reduces testosterone and growth hormone, both essential for vitality and muscle preservation in older adults. The science is clear. Those who consistently sleep fewer than six hours a night face higher risk of cardiovascular disease, dementia, and even premature death. And yet, the solution is not complicated. The body responds quickly when given a consistent sleep routine. A 90-minute wind-down period, dimming lights, avoiding screens, sipping herbal teas like chamomile or lemon balm, signals to the brain that night is coming. Keeping the bedroom cool, dark, and quiet allows the body to enter deeper stages of sleep more efficiently 
Even more profound is the role of light. Exposing your eyes to natural morning light anchors your circadian rhythm, making it easier to fall asleep at night. This is not about chasing an arbitrary number of hours in bed. It's about restoring the natural cycles that human biology has depended on for millennia. When you neglect sleep, you strip away the body's nightly opportunity to heal. But when you honor it, you give yourself the best possible foundation for energy, hormonal balance, and cognitive clarity well into your later decades. After 60, one of the most overlooked threats to longevity is not heart disease or cancer. It's the gradual erosion of muscle tissue, a process called sarcopenia. This is not simply about losing strength in your arms or legs. It's about losing one of your body's most vital organs. Yes, muscle is an organ, a living reservoir of proteins, amino acids, and metabolic activity that directly protects your immune system, supports hormonal balance, and stabilizes blood sugar. When muscle mass declines, it sets off a cascade of vulnerabilities. You burn fewer calories at rest, fat accumulates more easily, insulin resistance creeps in, and balance becomes unstable. One stumble on an uneven sidewalk can lead to a hip fracture, which for someone in their 70s or 80s can trigger a downward spiral from which many never recover. The tragedy is that sarcopenia is not inevitable. Science shows that with the right stimulus, even a person in their 90s can build new muscle fibers. Resistance training, whether it's lifting light dumbbells, using resistance bands, or body weight exercises like squats and push-ups, sends a clear signal to the body, this muscle is needed, keep it. Just two to three sessions per week can preserve lean mass, strengthen bones, and improve coordination. Nutrition plays an equally crucial role. After 60, the body's ability to synthesize protein into muscle becomes less efficient, a phenomenon known as anabolic resistance. The solution is to ensure a steady intake of high quality protein spread across the day, about 25 to 30 grams per meal. This could mean starting the day with Greek yogurt and berries, enjoying a lentil soup at lunch, and savoring a piece of grilled salmon for dinner. Combined with movement, this simple rhythm can halt the muscle loss spiral and restore the vitality that aging tries to take away. Chronic stress is more than a mental burden. It is a hormonal disruptor that accelerates aging from the inside out. In short bursts, stress hormones like cortisol are protective, sharpening your focus and mobilizing energy. But when cortisol remains elevated for weeks, months, or years, it becomes corrosive. It drives up blood pressure, thickens artery walls, deposits fat around the abdomen, and weakens immune defenses. The brain is not spared. Prolonged cortisol exposure shrinks the hippocampus, the part of the brain essential for memory and learning, making cognitive decline more likely. It also disrupts the delicate interplay between cortisol, testosterone, and growth hormone, the very chemicals that preserve muscle, bone density, and a youthful metabolism after 60. Many older adults unknowingly live in a constant fight or flight mode. The triggers may not be tigers or earthquakes, but bills, health worries, or the stress of caring for others. Yet the body responds to all of them as if survival is at stake. Over time, this hormonal imbalance chips away at resilience, leaving the body more vulnerable to disease. Reversing the state doesn't require withdrawing from life. It requires actively engaging in restorative practices. Daily mindfulness or prayer for even 10 minutes can lower cortisol. Immersing yourself in nature, a practice known as forest bathing, has been shown to reduce stress hormone levels, lower heart rate, and improve immune function. Nutritional support matters too. Magnesium, abundant in foods like pumpkin seeds, spinach, and almonds, is nature's relaxation mineral, calming the nervous system and improving sleep quality. The body's stress response is ancient, but so is its ability to recover. By restoring hormonal balance through stress mastery, you not only protect your mind and mood, but also fortify every organ system for the decades ahead. The human body is not sustained by a single vitamin, a single food, or a single meal. It is sustained by a symphony of nutrients each playing a distinct role in keeping our organs, cells, and immune system in harmony. Yet, many people over 60 eat from a narrow menu, repeating the same breakfast, lunch, and dinner day after day. 
Over time, this lack of variety creates hidden nutritional gaps that quietly weaken the body's defenses. The immune system, for example, requires dozens of micronutrients, vitamin C to support white blood cell function, zinc to help immune cells mature, polyphenols to reduce oxidative stress. Without nutrient diversity, these systems lose their resilience. The microbiome too suffers. Our gut bacteria thrive on a wide range of plant fibers, and when fed the same limited foods, beneficial species starve, while less helpful strains take over. This imbalance can lead to inflammation, digestive issues, and even altered mood and cognition. One of the simplest ways to ensure diversity is to follow the five-color phytonutrient principle. Every day, aim to eat something red, orange, yellow, green, and purple slash blue. Each color family contains compounds that target specific aging pathways. Lycopene in tomatoes for cardiovascular health, beta carotene in carrots for eye health, lutein in leafy greens for cognitive protection, anthocyanins in blueberries for vascular integrity. Rotating proteins in grains also matters. Instead of always relying on chicken and rice, mix in lentils, quinoa, sardines, black beans, buckwheat, or pasture-raised eggs. This rotation not only broadens nutrient intake, but also strengthens the microbiome and keeps the immune system alert. The body was designed to thrive on abundance, not in the sense of excess calories, but in the richness of natural variety. Longevity is not simply a gift. It is the compound interest of daily choices. The five habits we've explored, controlling inflammation, honoring sleep, protecting muscle, Mastering stress and diversifying nutrients are not fringe ideas. They are deeply rooted in decades of medical research, biology, and the lived experience of the world's longest lived populations. It's important to see the big picture. After 60, the body's ability to recover from mistakes is less forgiving. A night of poor sleep lingers longer. A week without movement accelerates muscle loss. Chronic stress leaves deeper marks. But the opposite is equally true. A single change, sustained over time, can yield remarkable dividends. Replace processed snacks with a bowl of berries and nuts, and you've lowered inflammation for hours. Commit to a nightly wind-down ritual, and your hormones begin to rebalance within days. Add two short strength sessions a week, and within months, your posture, energy, and balance improve. Living past 85 with vitality is not about chasing youth. It's about nurturing the systems that keep you alive and well. Health span matters as much as lifespan. Imagine arriving at your mid-80s, not just breathing, but hiking, laughing, traveling, and engaging fully with the people you love. That is not wishful thinking. It is a goal well within reach when you dismantle these deadly habits and replace them with life-giving ones. The blueprint is clear and the time to act is now because every day after 60 is an investment either in the body you want to live in or in the decline you'll have to endure. Choose the investment that pays you back with years of strength, clarity, and joy. Your future self is waiting and the choices you make today will decide how that future feels.